Hello. My name's Alan. I'm here to talk about wikis. The reason for this is because uh, some people like them, some people hate them. I quite like them. So, uh, for the reasons you'll see outlined in the next 10 to 4 hours. Uh, so, uh, let's start with uh, what I'm going to cover. Um, the interesting thing to note about this is that I've used a wiki to take the notes for me to give a talk about wikis, which I think is quite useful. Um, this is my own personal wiki on my website. Uh, what I'll do is I'll copy this content onto the Hanslug wiki at the end uh, so that you can see what I've done and correct any mistakes that I may have made by editing the wiki yourself. So we'll start with, uh, actually let's make this a bit bigger. That's a bit better, isn't it? Absolutely. Uh, start off with uh, what is a wiki, why, how you use it, how you administer it, how you install it, and uh, some other issues and stuff. And then we've got an empty page down here for any questions that I'm sure Andy is busily editing and putting questions on uh, right now, or defacing every page <laughs> that he possibly can. I wouldn't be surprised. Right, let's start off with uh, what is a wiki? Well, really, it's just a website. It's not really that different from any other website that contains some content of some kind. Um, it's really useful for uh, documentation uh, because you can just brain dump uh, the documentation for uh, maybe an open source product or anything, really. Um, I'll give you an example of where uh, mine is useful. Um, on my home page, uh, I've got lots of stuff that I just document, uh, including a wish list here. Uh, it's my birthday on Wednesday. If anyone wants to buy me anything that's on this wish list, you can feel free to do that. Um, I also have a list of uh, DVDs down here that uh, I uh, wouldn't mind owning as well. So, if you wouldn't mind, you know, there's quite a few on the list. So, uh, <laughs> Uh, that list is publicly available, yes, absolutely. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, anyone can edit that at all. Uh, uh, we'll, talk more, we'll talk more about it. Yeah, people could put strange, weird presents for me in there, but uh, <laughs> it's up to other people to buy them. So really, it's just a way of delivering some content. We've got some stuff, lists, text mostly, but images as well. Um, and uh, it's just delivered, um, I, I mean, it's really easy to use from that point of view because all someone has to do is just click the links and visit the page. My mum asks me, well she hasn't actually got a computer so it makes it somewhat difficult using her as an example, but my mother-in-law has a, uh, a computer and she often asks me what I want for my birthday or presents and I tell her just go and see the wiki and click on the wish list and you're done. So you know, it's useful for a number of different things, whether it's collaborating on documentation uh, or presenting any kind of other stuff. Oh, and by the way, yes, it's editable. That's another useful feature of wikis. Probably the key thing about wikis is it's editable. It's editable content. So if there's a mistake on this page anywhere, hmm, no, that one looks all right. Uh, but we could edit it. All I've got to do is just click the link and uh, edit the content. Too many full stops there. Let's get rid of those. And I could just save my changes. So, there's the first demo. Well, two demos actually. I've browsed the wiki, I've done that, and I've also edited the wiki by removing an erroneous full stop. So, that's basically uh, what a wiki is. Uh, you can probably get a lot more information about what a wiki is from the guy who devised them, a guy called Ward Cunningham. Um, and if you look down under further information, there's some links uh, to. Uh, Ward Cunningham's website and uh, a good interview with Ward where he details uh, why wikis are great and what makes them so useful. Uh, and there's also, uh, I'm using one particular wiki engine here, but there's a big list of uh, the different wiki engines you could use. If you're familiar with PHP, you might want one based on PHP. If you're familiar with Perl, uh, this one's written in Perl, you might want to have a look at this one. So, this one is, uh, is called UseMod. Actually, it's a fork of UseMod, uh, a patched version of UseMod, which we've affectionately called AbuseMod. Uh, and uh, it, it features a few extra bits and bobs, which I'll, I'll cover in a bit. But UseMod's been around for years and years and years, and it's used on loads and loads of sites. It's not the most fantastically advanced wiki. It has flaws, um, and it's not the most feature-rich of all the wikis. Uh, probably the most pro popular one at the moment is MediaWiki, which is used by Wikipedia. 
uh, and a number of other uh, projects, but uh, I like UseMod because it's simple and because I really don't have to work too hard to make it work. It's just, you know, put it on and it's done. I'll talk more about the installation in a bit. So the question is, uh, now we know what a wiki is, why would I want to use one? Uh, well, for me, if I am sat at work and someone says to me, hey Alan, have you seen this great new DVD? And I think, no, I haven't, but I wouldn't, wouldn't mind seeing it. I'll add it to my wish list. I don't have to scribble it down on a piece of paper. I can just go straight to my website, hit edit, and add it to my wish list. Or if someone says, Alan, can you document this thing that you did? I can add it onto a wiki, whether it's mine or somebody else's. A good example of that was um, at one of the meetings, I mentioned something about a way I'd configured my system, and someone else said, oh, I'd really like to know how to do that. So I said, all right, I'll write a wiki page on it. All I'd done is just brain dump what I'd done onto a, uh, an editor and just pasted it into a wiki. So it's, it's not rocket science, it's nothing, it's not brain surgery, it's just putting text into uh, a central place and I can do it from anywhere. So I don't need to have any weird or wacky protocols, I don't need any additional software, just your average communal garden browser. I've actually even been sad enough, sat in Brussels a few weeks ago, sat in a bar going through showing someone my wish list on my mobile phone over a GPRS. I've got no idea how much that cost me but probably about the price of a DVD I would guess. Uh, the other thing that's really useful is multiple people can maintain it. For example, the Hanslug wiki, there's loads of people who edit that. There's, we get drive-by hits from people who just arrive on the wiki, see a mistake, edit the page, fix it, go away, and we never see them again. We also get people who have uh, done something like configured a particular application or reviewed a particular application, and they paste it on the wiki. So we get lots and lots of people editing uh, wikis, not just ours, but you know, loads of other wikis as well. The byproducts of this being maintainable and maintainable from anywhere are it's, uh, people feel like what they've done is helping. One person might think that their little thing that they got working one day doesn't really matter. But you never know, there might be a whole load of people who need to know how to get product foo working with something else. And by putting it on a wiki, you're helping and you can be part of that community of people who are helping each other. In much the same way as people who come here like it when someone comes over and shows them how to do something on the laptop, they feel like they're helping. They're, you know, uh, well, helping is probably the best word. Uh, uh, yeah, anyway, uh, it's open. Uh, anyone except uh, administrators uh, have the same capability to maintain the wiki. So absolutely anyone in this room could go to this wiki, my wiki, or Hans Lug wiki, or pretty much any other wiki that I've spoken about or will speak about, hit the edit button and change something. So if there's a mistake, if you see any mistakes, by all means, let me know and I'll edit it. But it is a wiki, you could edit it. If you feel that there's a mistake on the Hanslug wiki, don't send an email to someone and say, hey look, someone spelled this wrong. Ah, you just go in and edit the page and fix it yourself. It's anyone can do it. You just click the little edit the text of this page and fix it. Accessibility, there's no barriers. Anyone with pretty much any hardware, whether it's a mobile phone up to the latest WYSI Fandango PC can edit this wiki. It's just a piece of text and you can see it's pretty much a no-brainer from a how do I get to the edit function. You start seeing these weird characters all over the place and I'll go through some of those in just a minute. But you know, if there was a spelling correction in here that needed to be done, you just put the cursor on it, type over the top, press save. Easy. So that's why I use a wiki and why I think you should use a wiki. Now, there are some scenarios where you might want to not just drive by edit the wiki. There are some scenarios where you might want to have a uh, user, username and password to identify yourself on the wiki. And these are some of those scenarios. Maybe you want to gain attribution for your changes. Maybe you want to um, let people know that it was you that edited a particular page. Let, if I keep moving enough, you won't be able to get a picture of me. Uh, <laughs> uh, Maybe you want, uh, or you'll notice, if I look down the bottom of this page, you can see that it says, last edited by Alan Pope. Okay, so someone might type in a whole ream of text in here, and you might think, oh, who did that? I need to speak to them about that. Or I think there might be another way to do this. I might want to speak to them or send them an email or something. Well, there you go, there's their name. There's the person who edited this page last. Well, there may be lots of other revisions of this page. So we've got a little link here that says, view other revisions. 
So maybe lots of people contributed to that page, in which case a few other revisions will show those people if they log on. So if they log on, log in, then they might gain attribution and then other people can see who edited the page. You might want to set preferences. For example, um, if I click, uh, if I uh, look at this, uh, the, the style of the text and the colour of the links and everything, I might not like it, so I might want to choose a style sheet, for example, to, to change the look and feel of this. The Hanslug wiki, for example, uses a different style sheet than this. This is the standard style sheet, pretty much. Uh, so by logging on, you can set preferences for uh, users. In fact, you don't actually have to log on to set preferences. It's just a setting you make. Maybe you want to log on and set preferences, though. You want to log out. Hmm, interesting. Uh, that's not really part of how to log in, but how to log out. Well, let's just show you how you do it. Uh, with this wiki, if you click preferences, you get the option to set your username. You can make anything up you like. There is no, uh, it's not like you have to have the user ID created for you, but it kind of makes sense in a normal world with normal people to use first name, last name. Some people use code names or nicknames or something. It doesn't really matter. It's, it's really just a name to identify you. I can set a password. So if you've never logged onto this site before, you can come here and set your password. Crud, what's my password? <laughs> Uh, but if you have logged on before, then it will remember your password. Okay. There are some preferences down here. Some of these are pretty self-explanatory, like uh, how many days do we display on the recent changes? And uh, oh, look down here, style sheet URL. So if I wanted to change the style sheet, I could put a link in there. Oh, that's handy. Uh, to a style sheet that I happen to have kicking around. Put that in there and press save. And when I do that, oh god, what the? Ah, oh, okay. Uh, we'll ignore that. Uh, so it comes up and says uh, I've logged on as Alan Pope and uh, set my password, and I'm not logged in as the administrator. Now, if I go back to my home page, things might look a bit different. There we go. We've now got. You probably can't tell all too well on this screen, but it's a kind of light blue. The font's a bit different. So logging in, you can change some settings. Uh, what else is there on how to log in? I've got some uh, links down here. These are the links that you would see up there for how you log in. So if you want to create a new login, that's the link. If you want to log in once you've created a new log on, if you want to edit preferences, those are the URLs you might use for this wiki. Uh, what else we got? So how do we go about editing the pages? These are some of the scenarios you might want to uh, go through. First off, you want to supplement or correct some existing content on a page. Well, that's just visit the page, press edit. You might want to create a new page linked from an existing page. Ah, well, let's try doing both of those in one go. First one, I want to supplement or correct some content on an existing page. If I just press edit, uh, just click edit this page. There we go. That tells you how to do that. I'll make that a bullet. And then down here, um, if I want to create a new page, I could call it anything I like, but what you do is you use this camel case, which is at least one capital letter in the middle of a bunch of lowercase letters. So that's a camel case word, capital M, capital N, capital P. That is going to be a new page. Just by me typing that there, it becomes a new page. The page doesn't actually exist yet, but it's the potential to be a new page. I'll save that. So what you should see now is we've got this just click edit this page. I've added that content. And I've added this content here, which is a link to a new page. And notice the little question mark here indicating, well, that page doesn't exist yet. So if I click the link, we get a blank page, which is called my new page. And it says, describe the page here. And in here we would put, this is where the funky content goes. Okay, and add it. Ooh. Funky content. There we go. Oh dear, yes. Someone can log in and correct that. It is a wiki. <laughs> okay, so I've just put some basic content. So that's the two main scenarios is uh, 
um, supplement or correct existing content or create a new page. There's another one here, I want to create a new page but I don't know where to link it from. This is possibly maybe a bit unusual but something you can do with this wiki is you can just fudge a new page by just typing straight up there the new page. So if I put in my really new page like that I get a new page called my really new page which has no content and if I go to edit it I now have a new page in my wiki called my really new page. Unfortunately, it's kind of orphaned. It doesn't hang off of any other page. There's no other pages linking to it, except this one. <coughs> the recent changes link. The recent changes shows all the changes I've made. So as you can see, while I was sat out there, I was editing these pages, actually creating this uh, before I walked in here. And there you can see my new page that I created and my really new page that I just created. So the, if you create a page in that ad hoc kind of way, it's generally not a good idea because the only place that ever refers to it is the recent changes page. Um, and search. And yeah, yeah, I guess search. So if I look for... Um, this is possibly going to be a bit dangerous, but I'm going to search for something on my wiki. <laughs> if I... Oh, yes. And so we found my new page and my really new page and a page where I detailed how you can do funky SSHing out of a corporate firewall, I think, is what that page was. Can we go back to my new page? Uh, because I know there's probably some swearing on it so from you. Not, it's, it's quite <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so those are the three the three scenarios. Okay, uh, there's some basic formatting. Uh, we've got in here uh, some formatting to do headlines. Now my style sheet is affecting the way this looks. So if I just switch my style sheet off by going to preferences and take out my style sheet from down there, just delete it, and that will get rid of it. And if I go back to the page and reload it, it should give the basic formatting that you normally see with the wiki. So uh, we can do a horizontal line to separate bits of content. We can have headings, and these are done with an equal sign either side. Uh, two equal signs, three equal signs. So these are like the H1, H2, H3, H4, H5 that you get in HTML for doing different size headings. We can do uh, bullets. Uh, we can do numbered lists. We can do indented text and we can have little definitions where you say, you know, here's an item and this is what the definition of that item is. And you can also do <laughs> pre-formatted text as well. Oh dear. There's a definition of hanging indents. I mean, if you have more text for that than on the line, does it... To what? To that? Yeah. Ooh, I don't know. Do you know that's... When I, when I created this page, that was the very first time I'd used a definition. Is one of these. And I can type a really long thing in here and hope it goes a line or so. Did you see this question? Answered. <laughs> I'm doing that. Okay. Yes, is the answer to your question. <laughs> Uh, so, <laughs> that's okay. Uh, I've learned something as well. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, the headings, we just have an equal sign either side, two equal signs, three equal signs. This is actually one of the reasons why people don't like wikis. This is the formatting that this wiki engine uses. Another wiki engine will use something else entirely. It might use stars, it might use ampersands or ticks or something. And that's one of the flaws. If you edit a load of different wikis on a regular basis and they all use different engines then it can become confusing and sometimes you might edit a page and put the wrong tag in and get the wrong formatting. Well that's why we have a preview so that you can click the preview button and see what it's going to look like, make sure you've got the right tags then hit save. Okay. Where were we? So that's some basic formatting. Uh, I've put another thing in here called advanced formatting, but it's not really that advanced. It's just, just slightly more <laughs> advanced. 
it's just sort of like page two really. Uh, so here we've got bold and uh, italic, uh, we've got a table, uh, we've got an image, we've got an image which is a hyperlink which you can click and take you somewhere else and then we've got some other examples of links. Let's have a look at what this page looks like. Uh, what I'll do is I will open this in a new window so that we can switch between and uh, just to have gratuitous use of XGL I'll move that onto another desktop like that and it doesn't line up properly, that's good. Uh, Maximise it up. So. Uh, this is what it looks like, uh, my page looks like. Let's start at the top. We've got some uh, bold and italics. Let's see how we did that. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Uh, Thank you. No problems. Uh, so that's the bold text, three little ticks. And that's the italics, two little ticks around it. Simple as that. We've got a heading here with two equal signs. And we've got a table here made up of vertical bars. This is another reason why people don't like this wiki. HTML, you want to use the bold and italic. HTML tags, the bold and italic. Would be the next part of my... <laughs> this is another reason why people don't like wiki. Uh, is because uh, some people don't like the limited features of this formatting. Some people prefer to use HTML. And if you know how to do bold in HTML, which is in fact bold, and italics is ooh, EM, isn't it? Italics. I. 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 Yeah, EM for emphasize I for italics. It's been the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> tomato, tomato. Uh, and so you can use HTML if enabled in your wiki. Some wikis don't allow HTML, some do, some allow restricted sets of HTML, some just don't. Um, so yeah, we've got a basic table. You, you could enable the use of TD, TR and table tags if you really wanted to, but for a simple table that's perfectly adequate. Uh, if you want to have an image in line in the page, which is what we've got with our little Hanslug penguin uh, here, then all you do is you put the URL to the image. Nothing more than that. You just have link to the image and the image just appears in the page. If you want an image which is actually a link as well, then enclosed within square brackets, we have the URL you want to link to, then a space, then the URL of the image, and that's it. So we've now got an image down here, which is a link, and if I hover my mouse over it, you can see it's a link to hans.log.org.uk. We can also have links to other wiki pages. Uh, so if you want to link to um, other wiki pages, you just use the camel case name of the page. Okay, that's all you do. You just type in the camel case name of the page and that will become a link straight away. If the page doesn't exist yet, then you get one of these, a little question mark, which I showed you earlier. You click on and then you can create the content. So, uh, if you do link to uh, a page that doesn't exist, or looks like it doesn't exist, make sure you've got the name right. Because uh, you might have mistyped it. And it claims the name page doesn't exist when actually it does. Another thing we've got here is we can have pages and subpages. Uh, this is quite useful, uh, useful for an organisational point of view to uh, organise the pages in your wiki. And in fact, I'm using this here. You'll notice that the page we're actually looking at is called Advanced Formatting, and that's a subpage within Wikitalk. So Wikitalk is one page, Advanced Formatting is a subpage within that. So it's a good way to group things together. You'll find on our wiki we've got stuff like uh, the Linux Hints page, and within that there's subpages of that. Uh, if you want to link to uh, non-local pages, so off-site pages, you could just type the URL in. If you just type the URL in, it will become a link. It will become a hyperlink and you can just click it and off you go. <laughs> Alternatively, if you want to give it a description, you do this. Woo! Isn't that fun? <laughs> Induce vomiting, quickly. Uh, you just put the URL and then the description, again, enclosed with brackets, and that becomes the description for that link. Okay. Finally, down here we've got unwikifying links. Sometimes you want to use a word, but you don't want that word to become a wiki link. So, notice this page here says wiki page. That will become a link to a wiki page called wiki page. Uh, 
But what if you use a word like MySQL, which is a camel case word, capital M Y S Q L in capitals, or Open Office, capital O P E N, capital O. Well, why don't I just write that rather than try and draw it in the air like that, <laughs> like that? If I save that, then down the bottom we get a link called Open Office, and I don't actually want to describe Open Office on my my website. I just want to use that as a as a word. So, in which case, obviously, technically correct, it's openoffice.org. Uh, I should put no wiki around it. And by putting no wiki around it, that says, don't wikify that link. Don't turn it into a link to a wiki page. And there we go. It doesn't link to a wiki page. Okay. That is a real brief run-through of some of the... Uh, the ways in which we can format the page, the basic and relatively advanced formatting. It's one of those things, you just have a play, just try it out and you, know, you could create yourself a sandbox page, you don't have to edit an existing page, you just create a new page and start faffing around with it. It's yeah, pretty easy. So how about installing Usemod? Well this is the wiki that I'm using. Uh, Usemod, you can get it from here, from the original website, or you can use our uh, patched version which is called Abusemod. The patches are described on the abuse mod uh, page, on the anti-spam page on our wiki. Um, the patches were put in place to prevent spammers from abusing uh, the wiki, from um, putting uh, unwanted content on wiki pages. So some patches were developed to reduce that, and it has reduced it significantly. We used to get many, many edits a day from spammers all over the world. And thanks to the work of, I think, David Ramsden and Hugo, uh, it's reduced to, well, almost none. I can show you, um, actually if I go like that, hello, that's probably appeared on another desktop somewhere, hasn't it? There it is, you see? <laughs> um, so this is our wiki, and if we go to recent changes on our wiki, um, and we scroll back until we find some Spam that has been rolled back. Has uh, have you seen any recently, Tony? Uh, there. I, no, that, I think that was. That was just someone doing something wrong. Getting it wrong. Ah, okay, that's you, was it? Yeah. Tony getting it wrong. Who believed it? So basically, I'm, what I'm looking for is any pages that have been rolled back, and there's there's none that have been rolled back in the last, well, basically about the last month. So uh, that says to me that those patches work. Okay. So yeah, I was talking about installing Usemod. Um, it's just a Perl, a single, monolithic, humongous, awfully coded piece of Perl. It's pretty ugly, but it works. Um, and you just stick it in your CGI bin directory on your web server, wherever that might be, um, and however you configure your web server to access that with the relevant permissions on the file and so on. There's a bit of configuration in there. Uh, the wiki needs to store its data somewhere, so you need to tell it with this data dir uh, parameter where you want to put the data. And uh, you can also store this config and some further config in an external file and tell it where that external file is, or you could put all the config straight in the wiki Perl file. Okay, so you can either put the wiki there or in a separate config file. You also need to set an admin password. If you set the admin password, then it gives you access to the admin tools. The admin tools are outlined on the next page. Here are some of the tools that we have to administer this particular wiki. Let's say you want to roll back a page. Let's say that somebody has done something to your wiki. Hmm. Someone's edited a page. Uh, okay. It was. I really thought you would have put something quite offensive on there. <laughs> so let's say someone's come along and put some spam on my site. Okay. <laughs> so someone's put some stuff on there that I don't really want. And I want to undo that. If I set my preferences, I can log in as the administrator. This is presuming I can remember the administrator password, which is set, as I just mentioned, in the wiki uh, Perl file. 
Firefox trying to be helpful. Notice there it says administrator password change. So it now recognises that I am the administrator. If I now go to the recent changes, you'll notice this link. This is one of the patches that's been put into abuse mode, is this rollback link. So if something does get messed up, and let's say someone's edited this page, I can visit the page first of all just to confirm that it really does have something that I don't want. And if it does, I can just click rollback. And it should, bing, undo it. So it's now undone. That's how we unspam the Hanslug wiki. We watch it all day, every day, <laughs> sat with a browser. And that's, that's all I do. I don't do anything else but look at wikis all day. I live, eat, sleep, dream wikis. And all we do is roll them back when these nasty uh, spams are put in our uh, lovely, gorgeous wiki. Uh, so that's one of the admin tools we can use, is uh, the rollback function. What else have we got? Uh, lock a page so nobody can edit it. Uh, this might be useful, for example, if you're in the middle of editing a page and you're doing a lot of edits, and someone else happens to browse into your wiki and starts blindly editing stuff while you're in the middle of pasting content in there, then there may be con edit conflicts. As you edit something, somebody else unedits it, you edit, they put it back, and you get a bit of an edit conflict. So what you can do is temporarily lock a page. Only the administrators can do that. Okay, so if you're an admin, you can lock a page so that nobody can change it for the duration that it's locked. There are some pages on the Hanslug wiki which are permanently locked. Uh, for administration reasons. Uh, I think the one to do with Hanslug Finance is locked. And the merchandising page as well. And the merchandising page. And, and the election results as well. Because obviously they are yes. static, nobody needs to change them. Absolutely. So there are a few pages that are on the wiki which are non-wiki editable pages. And you can kind of understand that. I don't want to get into a philosophical argument about it's a wiki and I can't edit that page. That's just wrong. Uh, it's just a fact that it is so there. Uh, if you want to completely remove a page from existence, uh, the admin tools have uh, the ability to do that. So I can say, for example, take my new page and decide, well, that's just a load of old rubbish, so I'm going to delete it. Down the bottom, you can see these links. These are the admin tools. And if I want to delete a page, I just click that, delete this page. And when I click that, Funnily enough, it asks me to confirm, and I say, go. That page is now gone. It's not in the wiki anymore. Now, that's completely deleted it. So it's a bit dangerous, because somebody could come along and just go, delete, 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 and get rid of all the wiki. So only admins can do that. Okay? If someone edits a page and just wipes out all the content, uh, not by deleting the physical page, but by um, deleting the content in the page. That can be undone. That can be rolled back. We can put the content back. But you can't undo the deletion of a page. There are also a couple of extra admin tools to prevent spam. We can stop certain hosts from edit the wiki. We can block their IP address or block their host name or block their entire net block or block the country they're in or, you know, <laughs> block their name and their address. Uh, or we can blo block, you know, various... Uh, other reasons, but mainly that's for if a spammer is really attacking the page once, uh, once or twice in the past, we've um, gone to the wiki to visit it and seen pages changing while we're visiting and thought, well, ah, I need to stop that, so block that particular IP address so it can't change the wiki anymore and then we can undo all the, the stuff. That's mostly uh, disappeared now because of the patches we've got that fix uh, the spamming. Ban certain words. Uh, you can ban certain words from the wiki. We use that as our primary way of stopping spam. So, you know, blocking the words like Viagra and all the other kind of stuff that, you know, people tend to put. So, yeah, you can feel free to try and put the word Viagra on a page and uh, actually it probably isn't blocked, the word Viagra. I'm not going to try it. Uh, it's, it's probably other stuff like we use URLs. So when the spammers paste into our website, they tend to put uh, links to their site, casinos or Viagra sales or whatever it is. So we actually put uh, that URL in the band strings. So when they paste that URL in, their whole edit is lost. You can make the whole site read only, uh, which is lock site, which you'll see down the bottom of the page. Down there, lock site. 
and uh, we don't generally do that very often. We have done it in the past again when we've been under a really intensive spam attack and just lock the whole site, wait until they go away and then get rid of it all. You can also rename pages, but again, only the administrators can rename pages. If you want to rename a page, just create a copy or send an email to the administrator and they'll fix it for you. Uh, wiki talk. So a little bit about the admin tools. There are a few problems with our wiki. Um, there are also some problems with wikis in general. The first one is spam. Most wikis have uh, spam of some kind or another. I'm pretty proud of our wiki and what the work that's been done by the people who edit it and the, the people who've devised the anti-spam measures because we really get next to none of this. Like maybe once a month now. It used to be 50 a day, 20 a day, 30 a day, sp spammers, you know, really kicking the what's it out of the, the wiki. And that kind of makes people a little bit down about editing the wiki because people think, well, what's the point? Why should I bother putting some content in there if a spammer's going to come along and wipe it out or, or delete it or, you know, mess it up in some way? But now we've pretty much eradicated that. The number of edits on the wiki, I think, has, has ballooned since that. Edit wars don't tend to happen on our wiki, they can happen, they especially happen a lot on Wikipedia. One person puts an edit in, someone else reverts it, the other person puts it back, someone else reverts it, the other person puts it back, someone else reverts it, and this goes on and they have to go into arbitration and it's all horrible. Uh, edit collisions, if two people try and edit the same page at the same time, that causes edit collisions and you just have to resolve that really. You just have to either back off for a couple of minutes and... Well, that's the extreme Andy Ransom uh, method of dealing with everything, really, isn't it? Track them down and shoot them. Uh, but in the real world, uh, what we tend to do is just walk away, have a cup of tea and come back and edit it again later. Uh, yes. Anyway, uh, no problems with our wiki. Um, now, uh, we've actually had this before. I've edited a page and put a word on a page that's a banned word. And that means that nobody else who is not an admin can edit that page. Because when they do, the wiki then scans that page and says, well, there's a banned word here, and throws away their edit. And we have to look very carefully you know, at the words on the page. And there are certain words, I can't remember what it was. It was a, it was a swear word in the middle of another word. It wasn't Scumthorpe, but it was, it was that kind of thing. Uh, it was some... It was something like... I thought it was porn. I think it was. It was something like that. Porn was part of a... A normal... A normal... Yeah. yeah. But it found it and matched it. And a morph... No. Yeah. Some word in English has porn in the middle of it. I think that's enough mentions of the word porn on my video. All right? Uh, <coughs> can you bring that up with somebody else's video later? Um, and the other problem is that the, the anti-spam measures we have um, block people who don't have a valid reverse DNS. So if, you, if you're coming through your corporate proxy to edit this wiki and your corporate proxy just announces itself as an IP address and doesn't have a reverse DNS lookup to a host name, then this won't let, the wiki won't let you edit, edit it because the vast majority of spammers don't have RDNS set up correctly. And so if we just block everyone who doesn't have RDNS, then instantly we block out 99% of the spammers, probably more than that. So the way around that is you log on. Hit the preferences and you log on. Or speak to us and we'll try and figure out another way around it. Wasn't that feature broken? Which feature? The, the RDNS log on feature. Uh, I pass. Heard, yeah, I heard that's the intention. We did have a report that somebody... Uh, the, the idea is that it, to keep access as low as possible so that really just about anything you can contribute. Um, the RDNS does do spam so much, but the workaround was to tell somebody to hit preferences, stick their name, just stick a password in and save. It's not a full-blown registration process with a required name, address, underpants size, everything like that. Um, but there was somebody who said they tried logging in on an RDS less connection, yeah. but it still didn't work. I think it was that you yeah. yes, yes, it was. <coughs> but that's under investigation. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's in the job queue. Yeah. Uh, further information uh, about wikis? Well, I've given you those links already. And also, of course... There is our website, the Hanslug website. And if you uh, scroll somewhere down here, about wiki is, uh, oh, let's make this text bigger. Down the bottom we've got about wiki and there's everything you want to know about the wiki, more than I've told you, um, a bit about the anti-spam measures, how you put images in, how you log on and register, 
uh, how you use this wiki, there's loads of information in here. Um, oh, what is a wiki? I should have used that. And I think that's about it, really.